tennis is a sport packed with tons of unpredictable chaos. Of course, the tennis world has its legends. Just like other sports, we always expect them to win. However, life isn't as smooth, and sometimes even the greatest players face major setbacks. It's all part of the game. Today, we are going to be talking about just that. Stay tuned as we look at some of the greatest upsets in tennis history, starting with the Noel versus Marco match. Djokovic had thought a lot of himself before this match was played, and the unsung Marco Cecchinato ended it all. The Italian, who had never even won a match at a Grand Slam tournament before, stormed into the semifinals on the red clay of Paris. The number 72 seed sprinted to a 2-0 lead in sets, and while Djokovic won the third and led 5-2 in the fourth, he ultimately lost the match due to a shoulder injury. Cecchinato's play was much superior to his position in the world rankings. Although he needed four match points to do it, he finished the match in grand fashion when his backhand passing shot sank on the line and knocked out the 2016 champion. Djokovic's post-game press conference was tense, and it was odd that he wanted to talk to the media soon after the match ended. He said it was hard to swallow the loss. His strange behavior showed just how much the loss hurt him. Djokovic had a rough year in 2018, but he came out on top thanks to his incredible comeback. Next, Williams vs. Vinci. This was one of the most shocking matches of all time. No one had expected that the GOAT would be defeated and that two by such a huge margin, but it happened. Serena Williams is one of the finest and most spectacular players in tennis history. Serena had previously won the Australian Open, the French Open, and Wimbledon, so she just needed the US Open to complete the calendar year Grand Slam. That's why the US Open meant so much to her. Everyone in the tennis world was stunned when Roberta Vinci stunned Serena Williams in the semifinals of the US Open. This was because Serena had previously beaten Vinci in the Roger Cup two months before the US Open semifinals. Everyone knew Serena could easily win this game since she was acquainted with her movements from their previous match against Roberta. Vinci, however, blew everyone away with her incredible displays of skill, speed, and dance. Moving on, Ivanovic versus Coyne. French player Julie Julie Coyne, ranked number 188 at the time of her 2008 US Open debut, was making her first appearance at a Grand Slam tournament. The 2008 French Open champion and apparent new breakout star on the circuit, Anna Ivanovic, looked to be losing her luster before the novelty had even worn off. Ivanovic's Olympic bid collapsed when she suffered a third round Wimbledon exit the same summer. This was the first occasion in 40 years when the women's top seed was eliminated in the second round of the Open. Billie Jean King was the number one seed in the 1966 tournament. However, in the second round, she was eliminated by number 16, Carrie Melville. Despite both players' subpar performances, the Serbian beauty upset Vera Dushevina in a first round match at the 2008 US Open. Nonetheless, Ivanovic's second round exit to Coin seemed to put an exclamation point on the end of her dominant run. From that moment on, Ivanovic lost both her self assurance and her standing. Having never played Coin before, Ivanovic said she was anxious before the match. Her serve and ground strokes abandoned her as her nervousness took a toll on her game. Ivanovic still needs to get back to her former form as of today. Following up, the Osaka vs. Williams match. Naomi Osaka, a Japanese teenager, won her maiden Grand Slam tournament spectacularly. This will likely go down in history as the most talked about and divisive women's tennis match ever. With her usual cool and composure, Osaka ended Williams' hopes of winning 24 Grand Slam singles champions. Serena Williams was the target of sexism allegations following a tennis match in which she had a temper tantrum and argued with the chair umpire. However, Osaka's meteoric rise to fame can be traced back to this match. Since then, she has won three more Grand Slam tournaments and risen to the top of the global rankings. The match was not only to be one of the greatest upsets because of Osaka's win, but also because of all the chaos that followed in the game. Serena's response to the umpire claiming that she was cheating on Osaka not celebrating her big win was pretty upsetting. What do you think of this match? Were you Team Serena or Team Osaka? We noticed that the masses were divided on this one. Not to forget Soderling vs Nadal. When 2009 rolled around, Rafael Nadal still hadn't lost to tennis greats Novak Djokovic or Roger Federer. Rafael Nadal was the reigning champion for the fourth time that year and had never been defeated at Roland Garros. It is clear today why Nadal's loss was the greatest shock in tennis annals. Nadal has won 13 French Open championships and lost just three matches throughout his career. At the 2009 French Open, Robin, a hard-hitting player ranked 23rd, took on Nadal, the defending champion. With
With smart maneuvers and superb tennis abilities, Robin won in four sets, 6-2, 6-7, 6-4, and 7-6. To the surprise of many tennis fans, Robin won every set, proving that he was the better player during the tournament. It was a huge upset for the masses because, to be honest, no one had ever expected that there could be anyone out there who had the potential to beat Rafa that badly. And keep in mind, this was the peak of the Spaniard's career. Up next, Iga versus Halep. Iga Swiatek, at just 19 years old, won the postponed French Open in October to finish a remarkable 2020 season. Swiatek defeated top seed and world number two Simona Halep in the fourth round and defending champion Sofia Kennan by scores of 6-4, 6-1 in the final to win the Australian Open. Although she entered the competition ranked 54th, Swiatek came out on top by not losing over five games to any of her opponents and without even dropping a set. Iga's chances of winning the event were pretty low before the competition began. She is the lowest ranked French Open winner in WTA history and the first Polish player to win a Grand Slam singles championship. Swiatek is the youngest French Open singles winner since the King of Clay in 2005 and the youngest female champion since Monica Seles in 1992. She was the highest ranked adolescent on the women's circuit in 2020 and began the new year ranked 17th. The young player's aggressive all-court approach may lead to several future championships. Swiatek won the Grand Slam in 2020 when nobody expected her to. Moving on, Hingis versus Dokic. Even though the Swiss teen ace Martina Hingis was the dominant force in women's tennis in the late 1990s, she was not immune to defeats. Martina, ranked number one at the time, lost to the young and talented Australian Yelena Dokic 6-2, 6-0 at Wimbledon in 1999. When she lost, Hingis became only the third top-ranked player in the Open era to be eliminated in the first round of a women's Grand Slam tournament. Dokic had made it through qualifying and sometimes trained with Hingis, so their success was no accident. The world number 129, whose fiery father Damir was her coach, went on to beat Grand Slam legend Mary Pierce before losing in the quarterfinals to another American qualifier, Alexandra Stevenson. Up next, Kyrgios versus Medvedev. This wasn't that shocking since they had already faced off, but it was still an upset nevertheless. At the Masters 1000 tournament in Montreal a month before his Arthur Ashe Stadium match, Kyrgios had defeated the top seed to take a commanding 3-1 lead. Nonetheless, in his three trips to Flushing Meadows, Medvedev had advanced to the semifinals, so hope remained that he would be able to continue his championship defense on the court he loves so much. What did you think about this one? Were you as shocked as we were? Finally, Sharapova versus Williams. Even though Serena has shown the world well who's superior with a 20-3 head-to-head record versus Sharapova, the rivalry between Sharapova and Serena Williams remains one of the WTA's most popular. A match versus tournament favorite Serena Williams in the 2004 Wimbledon final was Sharapova's first and only Grand Slam final appearance. Despite her reputation as a formidable player and the fact that the next decade would cement her status as the best of all time, Sharapova won her maiden Grand Slam match by annihilating Williams. Although Sharapova's name is already well known in tennis, her match with Serena pushed her to stardom. That's a wrap for this video. So which of these was the biggest upset? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.